Today I'm doing a quick teardown of the NLIT L3 laser excited phosphor torch. The thread's a little bit dirty. I might go and clean these. It's got some paper towel, a bit of isopropyl alcohol. So that is a little bit dirty. <laughs> it rubs off easily on the micro arc oxidation finish, this Mao finish. So you can see it's it can get stained quite easily. Got to be careful. These are camera spanner wrench tools from, it's from AliExpress. You can probably get it on Amazon too. That was a bit tricky. Okay, we got that out. Grab some tweezers. There are components on the other side of this board, so I might need to be careful. That is the underside of the driver feeding the LEP module. So that's the driver. And it's connected up to this LEP module. How do we get the module out? If you don't want to mess around with soldering, the easiest way is just to use some cutters and simply cut the wire off. Like that's boom. You can always replace the wires. Okay, <laughs> that's way easier, saves me time. So that is the driver. So FMD, friend micro devices. Got that brass pill on the back there. It's probably some test pads broken out from the MCU. Let's measure it, 1964. So about 1964 would be the outer diameter. So 1.59 for the PCB thickness. So we have the lens. There is a glow in the dark ring, a glass lens on top. And then there should be an, there's an O-ring just on the lip of that bezel there. So here is the laser excited phosphor module. Let's go ahead and open this up. So there is another retaining ring. There's a lot of retaining rings in this thing. There we go. So that is the module. Ooh, there is a lot of thermal paste. I'm gonna put some gloves on. So that's exciting news. There's heaps of thermal paste here. And <laughs> I'm making a mess. Put it on this paper towel. Don't want to make a complete mess everywhere. Oh, that looks cool. So that's the, the laser excited phosphor module. It actually pokes up a little bit. I thought this was a flat module and it went down, but it looks like it's poking up a bit. That is awesome. So that is the module. Heaps of thermal paste on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and clean this off as well. So I could probably tear down this a little bit further and check out the phosphor layer, but I might leave it at that. That's probably enough to get in there if you're keen on making your own driver and want to swap out the driver with your own one. This is probably enough to go with. But yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, you can check out the full review of the NLID L3 on my website, timmcmahon.com.au. I've got yeah, all the testing details there. Cool, thanks for watching.